Hey everybody, this is James Pelton. I am here with a valued member of my community, Boris. Um, and this is amazing for me. Me and Boris were talking about this beforehand, but it's just amazing uh, to, you know, usually I have projects and other people on, but it's amazing to have somebody from my community on um, and just kind of hear what they've been doing, what they've been successful with, some tips and some tricks. Boris is always sending me stuff to, uh, to look yeah. into and things like that. And I feel guilty because a lot of times I don't have the the time. So I thought, hey, Boris, come on, just share it with my community. So we're going to talk through some of that stuff. Um, if you are here today, first off, uh, we have welcome Sane. Thank you for joining my community. Again, I love my community so much, you guys. Uh, Telegram, um, really appreciate that. I need to do a better job of checking my uh, staying active in my Discord. Um, but Pocket and Tyco and Claire, and I just have a whole, I have a team of people behind me that really help me out. Um, I tell people that Tyco and Pocket especially, they're more vital to the James Pelton community than I am by far. So I uh, appreciate you guys. Um, if you're here, please hit the like button. Um, and go ahead. Let's see. We haven't done it for a while. So, uh, no, let's, let's hear what's the best airdrop that you've ever received. Go ahead and comment that what's the most valuable airdrop that you've ever received. Go ahead and comment that. I kind of want to just see if you guys, I always miss airdrops because I don't stay up to date on are. what's going on. Uh, Boris scolds me. He says, Hey, hopefully you got your Arbitrum airdrop. And I say, ah, oh, I forgot about that. And, uh, but I leave a lot of money on the table because of that. So hopefully Boris has some tips here for us, uh, today on, around that as well. Um, and if you have questions, things you want us to discuss, things that relate to what Boris is going to be talking about, or just random stuff, feel free. Um, and I'll bring those up as, as we, uh, as we go. So, oh, I love this. Scott says, forgiveness for my sins. Yes, amen. Jesus gives us the best airdrop ever. Love that one. Didn't even think of that one, but yeah, that's awesome. So um, we got Hatchy Pocket NFTs. There's one. Some people are saying Arbitrum. That was a big one. I was, I knew about it. I just didn't, I just didn't have my decks in a row. It is my, my fault. Foolishness. So. Anyways, let's jump over to Boris here. Boris, can you start out by giving us a little introduction of yourself, a little bit of your background, and then we'll jump into today's content. Nice. Yeah, of course. So first of all, I would just really, really love to say that I am incredibly humbled and grateful for this opportunity because when I first started my crypto adventure like a year, year and a half ago, I never imagined that I would be in a position where I can offer to people your huge audience something of, that is so valuable that they would be interested to actually hear it out. So this is just an incredible opportunity for me. So thank you again, James, for organizing this and uh, yeah, letting me share my story, my successes, my failures, my learning experiences. And hopefully by the end of this, we will all be wealthier, both in knowledge and actionable steps to actually get some serious money in this industry. Awesome. Yeah. Love it, man. Appreciate you hopping on to do this. Um, so maybe we could start out, Boris. Uh, can you tell us maybe, tell us a little bit about your crypto journey and just where you're at um, on it and kind of how, how you've gotten to this point that you're at now? Right. So I was always interested in it so for like maybe since 2019, 2020, I've started to realize that, huh, there's something going on in technology. Right. Let's let's postpone it. Like, yeah, um, let's wait a little. Like, and then only when Facebook became Meta in like what was it, late twenty twenty one, right? I realized, okay, this is real. Like, I need to start focusing on this a little bit more. And then it was crazy. Like, do you remember the note season of late twenty twenty one? Oh, and then early twenty twenty two. My God. So yeah, we had a uh, quite a nice time there. And uh, yeah, like I made a lot of mistakes. You go through your journey, you learn. It's important just to keep your eyes on the prize, like not to not to give up along the way. So yeah, basically it was all around, all over the place. Summer came and uh, I decided to watch one video on YouTube that said, hey guys, this is uh, these are the possible things you can do. This is the potential amount of money you can make from this. And it took me literally like 15 minutes imagine 15 minutes to do some tasks on chain right so it was like testnet transactions and uh, one month later 
I realized that my 15 minutes became about thousand dollars. Does anybody in the audience know what we're talking about here? Which airdrop came in October last year? Hmm. Arvin says, what was the video, Jesse? Any uh, no. It was the altcoin buzz video, actually. Uh, it was altcoin buzz video in October 19th of 2022. And I remember I was just like working out, listening to it and said, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's try it. I had my ledger ready. Uh, like, man, the fear, the fear I was experiencing when I was doing it. Because you hear so many topics, like you hear a million times a day, airdrops are dangerous. Your wallet will be drained. You have to know what you're doing. <laughs> and I was panicking inside, man. I was literally panicking. Was, this was the first time. It was new to me. I didn't know what I was doing, right? I was just, I had faith that I could figure it out. That's all. I had my ledger ready. I did what I needed to do. And yeah, it really worked out. But this is, this is really, really important to stress out. When you're doing airdrops, there's million and 100,000 scams every day. You must be very careful not to fall for those. Because at the end of the day, guys, the point of airdrops is to end up with more money in your wallet than less money in your wallet, ideally, right? So what we're doing here is you always need to surround yourself with people who are more experienced in this field. And if you cannot do that immediately, always take precautions to go on official sites. All right, official websites, official Twitter accounts, official discords. There's going to be a million people messaging you saying, do this, do that. No, always talk with people who are more experienced. This is where our community, other communities around the world, we will have links in the description about the best places to get information, quality information, and real information that actually real airdrops, not scam airdrops, because it's incredibly important to div diversify these two. All right. This is just something I cannot stress out enough. Talk yeah. with people, communicate, understand what you're doing, get busy. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm excited to hear more about this. Can you can you let us know what's uh how much would you say on you make off of an average airdrop? Or how often are you doing these things? Are these like once a day or once a week, or what's kind of the frequency and what would you say is like the average? Uh, time it takes and how much it makes. I know it's going to vary wildly, but what, what's kind of average? All right. So if I had to summarize, I can tell you one thing. Uh, around January of 2022, I remember I read a post that said that average airdrop hunters, so people who focus their energy on airdrop hunting, yeah, to do tasks with airdrops, they make 86000 400 euro a year, like almost six figures. And I thought to myself, no, no, that's impossible. To do something and get six figures just like that, like to do something in crypto without risk technically, because in airdrops, you're risking your time and a little bit of transaction costs, right? So I thought it was impossible. But honestly, after like six months, I really think it's, even a conservative amount. Because if you just nail one airdrop properly, right, then you get like five, high five figures easy. This is what a lot of people did. And this is what my experience was as well. So in October, uh, the Aptos airdrop, I don't know who in the audience knew this, but it was Aptos, the answer to the question. Aptos came and it really opened up my eyes to the possibility. Like 15 minutes of work, over a thousand dollars out of thin air. Like just literally companies want to give you money. They want users, how airdrops works. They want users, they incentivize users for using their network. They pay you with their token once they launch it. So the art of finding them is really, really important. Anyway, to answer your question, yes, you can make anywhere between 100 to million, maybe even if you're doing everything right, in this in this scene over a year and yeah depending how many of them you do depends of course how many you will get how, but i will how, we'll talk more about strategy later 
Yes. No, that'd be great. How often do you find that you are doing doing these airdrops? Do they come up? Do good ones come up once a week or once a month? Or how often do you kind of see? Okay. So this works like this. You have projects that are worthy of your time, right? Because over the last half a year, <laughs> I really learned that you get something that we call in our community ice cream money, where protocols would give you like, I don't know, like $10, $15. And that's like, Great, great ice cream. Yeah, five, five cardboards of ice cream. Yeah, let's go. So in the near experience, you really learn to focus on the right ones. So my strategy in the last couple of months has been only to focus on the big projects with a lot of funding. And there's also a way to identify projects with uh, big funding. We'll have it in the description. It's called CryptoRank.io. You can just Google there and see how much money a certain project has raised. Obviously, the bigger the raise, the more money is allocated for airdrop and community. So my focus has been mostly on this, to find 10 quality projects and do something that is perhaps somewhere in the moral gray zone. But if you really want to maximize airdrop hunting, you do not want to do it on just one wallet, obviously. There's people who made almost $2 million from Arbitrum. Yes, $2 million just because they were smart about it, because they decided, okay, sure, I will do transactions on more wallets, I will make more traffic for the protocol, and the protocol decided to reward them for being active user on, well, multiple wallets. I'm not saying it's correct. I would love to live in a world where one person would have one wallet, and then everybody would be like happy, because one person, one wallet, everything works. But I cannot allow myself to miss the opportunity to make more money doing the same thing. Would you? I, I wouldn't. Yeah, well, and you know, I, I'm a Christian, so like ethics are a big thing for me. But I don't, to me, it doesn't seem unethical unless they specifically say don't use multiple wallets. I mean, I already have 50 wallets probably. <laughs> Me and, too. <laughs> uh, I don't know. For me, I don't feel any. I don't know. In the comments, let me know. Anybody, does, yeah. does that seem like a gray area to you guys or or not? But to me, it seems like an okay thing to do. So it's business. If you have appetite, if you have ambition, if you have a desire to actually make money, why would you get paid? Like if you can charge your hour $50, why should you satisfy with five? Right? <laughs> That's my logic. That's maybe it makes sense business to me. Office, but Makes sense uh, to me. No, that makes sense to me. Can you maybe walk us through uh, what your process is? Like, I want to, I want to help the audience if they want to well, make money. What's, what's kind of the process you go through that maybe they could mimic or jump on your back and help out with and uh, make some money? Yeah, that's why we're here. So basically, first thing you would love to focus on um, following Twitter accounts and couple Discord groups and Telegram groups that uh, are really, really experienced in this field. So we will have in the description, ideally three Telegram groups that I follow almost daily. We will also have a Discord group that is like incredible source of information. So as you can see, the pattern here is community. The more you are involved, the more you understand what's going on, the more you are able to actually catch airdrops. And once you do the tasks, actually cash them in. Because a lot of people will have gotten Arbitrum airdrop, but they don't know that they got it. <laughs> so in like half a year, it will expire, right? Some airdrops you have to claim. Aptos, you had only one week to claim. Imagine you have thousands of dollars sitting in your wallet, but you haven't claimed them. Horrible, right? So that's why my process is you find the communities, you talk with people, you understand that you have to follow Twitter, Discord, and Telegram channels that we will talk about. And just be on chain, practice, have fun, enjoy, and learn new things. Like that's my process. Identify projects through Discord, Telegram, and Twitter, and then see which ones am I gonna focus on? Because your time and your energy are most valuable things here. If you can focus on the right ones, you can make six figures within a year with relative ease. It's not easy. It's kind of sometimes boring, let's be real, but it is very, very possible. I have done it, I mean, not six figures, but a lot of people have done it who have been doing this for years. So I know that's possible. 
do you have some communities or discord groups that uh, are the best that you would kind of recommend? Um, have you, and also along with that, I want to piggyback that with, um, have you considered doing your own or maybe we could make it a part of the James Pelton discord or something like that, but just a group that's focused on, Hey, here's upcoming airdrops. Uh, what do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah. I definitely can consider that. Uh, I'm already a moderator in one of these discord groups. They have actually been instrumental in my journey. So I would highly recommend anyone who is serious about this to consider spending some time there to understand how things are going, how, how, how money is really made in this industry, in this airdrop industry, because it's a huge field and it's still very, very unexplored. Because let's be real, people are sometimes a bit lazy to learn new things. I mean, I've been there, we've all been there. But if you're like committed, then it's really, really possible. But yeah, I will, um, we can make a section also in Discord to just like announce new things that, I'm, that we're focusing on. I can literally do that today. Awesome. awesome. And actually, Justin says, we already opened a room in your Discord. Uh, so, Boris, we have a Boris room for you. So, we'll, uh, hopefully that'll uh, we'll get some help people out with that. And speaking of my Discord, uh, welcome Blaze's Funny Clips. Thank you for joining uh, the community. So, again, really appreciate my community. And I feel like as we add on more pieces, like, like Claire you know, is helping out with a lot of stuff. And then now we have you helping out with airdrops and we just, you know, keep adding on all this uh, value and becomes a valuable place. Again, no thanks to me. You know, it's, it's, it's other people in my community bringing this together. So really appreciate that. Um, okay. So next question that I have is when's the next airdrop? What's the next airdrop that you have your eyes on? Yeah. Is there anything coming up or what, what's kind of uh, on your horizon? Yeah, so uh, the thing we have most focus on these days is something called uh, ZK Sync. So it's also a layer two solution like Arbitrum. And they are also like really, really su supposed to be like the next big thing, right? Because they're, they're scaling Ethereum. So they have a lot of protocols already building on their ecosystem. And uh, yeah, this is kind of my focus as of late. But you have many other also. We're focusing on Argent, like Argent Wallet. You have also uh, Starkware. Starkware is also a protocol that has raised a lot, a lot of money, like over 100 million. And there are also a layer two Ethereum solution, scaling solution. You have Scroll. Scroll is also a layer two. You're noticing a pattern here. <laughs> a lot of layer two solutions. And of course, you cannot forget about the ones that are ongoing. Optimism. You also have a couple wallets like Martian and so on. The beautiful thing about this is that when you're doing one airdrop, you are actually doing four or five of them at the same time. I can give you an example. One of the better strategies that I found was to go around and, for example, you want to do ZK Sync. You don't do it with MetaMask. Okay, you can do it with MetaMask, but you can also do it with a wallet, Argent wallet. You fund it through Starkware. So you're automatically doing four airdrops at the same time. This is a little more advanced. I don't want to spend too much time with it. This is for people who really want to do this. So yeah, again, join our communities, figure out what to do, talk with experienced people, and double, triple, quadruple, quintuple check everything just to end up with more money, not less money in your wallet. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Um, so Degriff says already on 25 wallets and counting for ZK. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe can you walk us through like just kind of an example, like Alfred saying, where do I get these airdrops? Maybe for like the ZK sync, if somebody's wanting to take advantage of this, can you maybe walk us through step by step on what someone would need to do to get that? Absolutely. So first of all, you go to their, so first you open up a Twitter account if you don't have it. <laughs> you go to... Uh, Twitter search, you write in ZK Sync and you find the official, okay, official one with the most amount of followers, the most everything, like official link. You go click on that official link, you find their landing page, and then you will see they have a subsystem, uh, sub ecosystems, right? You have bridge into ZK Sync, you have their uh, ecosystem apps. So, next thing you do, once you're on their official landing site, yeah, perfect. Uh, you go to their bridge. So one of the criteria for Arbitrum was that you need to use their official bridge. 
So first thing I would do is I would bridge some funds from Ethereum mainnet to ZK Sync. Once you have funds on the ZK Sync layer two, all you have to do is interact with their apps. So airdrop hunting is essentially really, really easy, but still people are super afraid for a good reason because of all the scams. So very few people, I guess, actually take it seriously. Uh, all you have to do is do transactions. Just play around and change. Just have fun, figure out what to do, do some swaps, some bridging, provide liquidity, super basic stuff for decentralized finance, for DeFi. Like, it's really easy. And as long as you do it over a few months, you are in a great position to receive ZK Sync airdrop when it eventually comes. Same thing for all the other things. You have Starkware, you have Scroll, you have like Consensus, MetaMask airdrop. Like if you're using, like, imagine this, literally if you're using MetaMask, you might get an airdrop one day. How crazy is that? Like, unbelievable. And who doesn't right? use MetaMask, right? 30 million users, James. It's amazing. So, how yeah. much, uh, Scott would like to know, how much Ethereum would you suggest on each wallet for working with Ksync? Right. Well, this depends on your appetite and how much you are willing to do this for amount of time. But my formula for now that's been working very well is I would recommend you to use between 50 to $100 funding for each wallet. Because unfortunately, Ethereum gas is only getting higher and higher. And you really need to do Ethereum gas transactions on the weekends when nobody's working. <laughs> Basically, when people are resting, this is our action time. Because that time, Ethereum is the lowest gas fee. You want to catch Ethereum gas between 2 to $5 maximum. So that's that's optimal right so yeah okay very good um just as we're talking to i'm still thinking we got to find a way to either get an nft collection you know i'm obsessed with nft collections right now that yeah. that are you know yeah. get revenue from something from somebody doing work and other people taking advantage of it but we got to get some some kind of nft collection or something going um for people to take advantage of the hard work that you're putting in because I just find like I don't have the time to do a lot of this and to run around chasing a lot of this stuff, but I, I get so jealous. Like I want to. Um, so I don't know. Do you have any thoughts on ways like if you feel like you don't have a lot of time or anything like that? Um, I don't know. Do you have any thoughts on ways to yeah. do that? Here's the thing, though. Yeah, mm, it would be possible. Like people have already asked me this many times before. But the thing is, you when you're doing this and you're doing it on multiple wallets, then you need to make sure that your wallets are not connected, that you have random actions happening on these wallets, because some protocols disapprove of it being like airdrop hunting. If you do it on like a million wallets, if you do it on like a thousand wallets, of course, like if you imagine you make a bot and you do these things with a bot, of course, that's it's not illegal, but it's I would never do that, you know, like so. There are protocols who brand you as a, an airdrop farmer, like a civil farmer, if you know the expression. And then that's not something that anybody wants because how, how bad it would be that your work doesn't get paid for anything, right? Wouldn't be nice. So the whole idea of NFT, we can talk about it after the show. I would love to discuss it, but there are a couple of things that we would need to figure out along the way because it's not as easy as in ClearCut as well. Like here, your work actually pays. Right. <laughs> it's not as easy to scale, you know? Yep. So, right, yeah, right, absolutely. Also, uh, I wanted to maybe uh, mention some things that uh, can help people who are new on this journey to actually understand what they're doing. So just very important thing to be patient and avoid the noise. Like a lot of people will tell you, nah, airdrops are gone, like no more point doing airdrops. But because like, in, for example, Arbitrum, people were saying in September that it's over. Like no more Arbitrum airdrop, right? So when you're deciding on criteria, what to do, you always need to use logic, like, of course. So go to the official Discord, check if the snapshot for the active activity of users is taken. And if it's not, just do the airdrop. You will have a higher chance of getting some money if it's actually not announced that the snapshot for activity is taken because protocols want activity. And a lot of people speculate, oh, it's gone, it's gone. 
use your brain, use your logic. <laughs> if the protocol is still ongoing and the airdrop is not confirmed, is not snapshot is not confirmed, just do it. You'll you'll be very happy in a couple of months. Be patient and yeah, make sure that you're not you're going on official links. I will tell this five more times today, minimum. <laughs> minimum. Awesome. And his uh, question, Boris mentioned another wallet he would use for ZK Sync instead of MetaMask. What was that wallet? That was Argent because Argent, because this area is huge. And if you do not have a clear strategy in place, you can get lost and overwhelmed like that. So the point is you have Argent wallet. It's a Starkware specific wallet that you use for Starkware ecosystem, right? So, and they don't have a token. The most important thing about airdrops is that how you get money through airdrops. Somebody asked this. So let's just clarify how do you get money in airdrops. Protocol that doesn't have a token wants to incentivize users. They offer some potential rewards for users for using the platform. And then when they launch the token, they give you their native token. This is what happened with Arbitrum, with Aptos, with many of them. So what you want to do when you are airdrop hunting is you want to make sure, well, 99% of the time, you want to use protocols that don't already have a token. And that way, you get the airdrop of it. So Starknet is a new ecosystem. Argent doesn't have a token. ZK Sync doesn't have a token. Many protocols don't have a token. If you play around with them, that's how you can potentially, not guaranteed, of course, nothing is guaranteed in crypto or life in general. But that's how you can make money in crypto, like with airdrops. Make sure you focus on things that don't have a token. Also, this is something I stress out many, many times. Dexes, bridges, where do you guys swap? Do you always go to Uniswap? Do you always go to PancakeSwap? Or are you a bit more DJ and want to like try try something else, like some, some new protocol, right? Take precautionary measures, click official links, and talk with people who are more experienced. But yes, I would highly recommend you test, you play around on chain figure out what works, what doesn't. And yeah, just use new DEXs, use, use new bridges, use bridges without token, use bridges, use DEXs without token. Ask for help, you shall receive it. Simple as that. There you go. Hey, that's in the Bible. Uh, I appreciate oh. the quote there. Oh. Ask and you will receive. <laughs> uh, let's see, James would like to know, uh, further info on airdrop hunting, systematic searching, um, do you have any tips for people, like how much time you spend? Do you do something daily or do you just do over the weekends or do you have some tips on that? Absolutely. So as we said before, uh, you have a couple sources of great quality information. For example, uh, many of us know who Miles Deutscher is, of course. He's a child prodigy, let's call him like that. I mean, he's not a child anymore, but he's younger also. And he always preaches about how people who don't necessarily have thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars, but they want to make money in crypto. Like they have the passion, they have the hunger. They want to, they want to go big, right? So he says airdrops are like, honestly, the best way to start your crypto journey because you don't need money. You just need your willingness to learn. And of course, a little time because you need time to figure this thing out. Right. But the thing is you follow, sorry, the question was where to start, right? Yes. Yeah. Like, what, how do you do this like systematically? Do you yeah. spend a few yeah. hours each day or how do you do yeah. it? Systematically, you have like five to six people you follow on Twitter, three to four on Telegram, and a couple more on Discord that you just keep tabs on. It doesn't have to be every day, of course. You, you're allowed to live life. You know, it's a beautiful sunshine <laughs> outside occasionally. But the point is to keep tabs on what's going on. Follow Miles Deutscher, follow Thor Harvidsen. He's also great. You have Crypto Banter, you have Altcoin Buzz. These are some of the YouTube channels. And of course, the one that has helped me the most in my crypto journey when I started this in like October, November is uh, Cryptocurrency State. He's a, a great guy, Santiago, actually. And he was the one who actually showed me how this whole thing works. Like his videos are actually the only step-by-step -step tutorials that I have seen in whole YouTube, like Cryptocurrency State, right? And it was like instrumental in me actually understanding how this thing works because when you're doing something new <laughs> i'm the kind of person that really likes to be held by hand you know like because i want to do things right and systematic beginning to end this has always given me the best results so yeah this one was on point so yeah you have a couple more telegram groups like airdrop adventure 
and uh, myron airdrops and stuff like that but yeah go uh, do follow that and then see what they're doing copy and then after a while you start understanding patterns and then you can actually do your own research and this is what we always usually do in crypto right don't, don't just blindly follow people but then understand concept try to find airdrops suggest the airdrops exchange information with communities and get the best overall general idea what works what doesn't and yeah like trust me one day you get your first airdrop and you're through the roof and then it's just a beautiful beautiful virtuous cycle that yeah goes. and i found that's true with a lot of things is once you get your kind of first one and you actually get the actual money then that kind of motivates you at first it kind of seems like a grind and oh this is never gonna work and i yeah. can't do this yeah but then once you see that first money coming in, then you're like, wow, this actually is working. So exactly. I love yeah. that. So I'm glad you understand that. So yeah. Yeah. That's it. So general day to day, just keep up, keep in, keep tabs on everything that's going on. Make sure that you don't miss an airdrop. And even if you do whatever, there's going to be 500,000 more. <laughs> and yeah, that, that's it. Like keep up, do stuff on chain, learn MetaMask, learn DeFi, learn how liquidity provide, provision works, do some swaps. Like it's super basic stuff. I, I honestly feel like this is like if you, if life was a game, <laughs> this would be a cheat code. Like I'm not even joking. <laughs> this this sometimes feel like a cheat code, you know. So yeah, yeah. And okay. Degriff says I did one wallet for Arbitrum, got fifteen hundred in airdrops. Took like an hour. Wish I'd done fifty wallets. Yeah, I, and a lot of people did that. Um, <laughs> I saw online people doing uh, tons of tons of work, and hey, I got sixty thousand dollars in my Arbitrum airdrop. So I mean, it, yeah. it happens yeah. for sure. Exactly. Um, how many wallets in general do you plan to do per project? <laughs> a lot, <laughs> a lot. So, uh, as I said, last half a year, uh, I was like really, really experimenting. And this is where you really get to leverage other people's time, because why should somebody go through everything that I've gone through in the last half a year? If I can just tell you what I did. And what you should not do, because th let me tell you one thing. I can tell you a lot of things that you should not do. <laughs> so my adventure started with like, I don't know, like I was doing 100 airdrops on like three or four wallets, like it, ice cream money, James, <laughs> ice cream money. <laughs> so basically what you should be doing is you should focus. This is my strategy and it works really well. You should focus on five to 10 quality projects and do them on as many wallets as you think you can manage. So <laughs> I'm going to try to do something in double digits, double digit number of wallets for the errors I'm doing now. But yeah, plan is to like really, really take this to the next level. So awesome. Um, Big Kitty says, I love your personality, Boris. So oh, we got maybe a potential uh, YouTube uh, career in your future. I honestly can't tell you that I haven't thought about this a million times, but yeah, we will see. We'll see. I'm just, I'm the kind of person who is really happy when I can share something valuable to people and make their lives better. Like it's, it's been like that forever. And uh, who knows if, if YouTuber is a personality, yeah, bring it on. Like I'm down. <laughs> let's, let's give it a try. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, like let's down the line. First, we're going to make a million dollars with Ariops, like, you know, right, obviously. right, right. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Um, let's see, where should one start from if he hasn't used any of these wallets before? I'm talking about a newbie. Um, I'll, I'll let you, but what would you say? Yeah, so uh, for starters, yeah, familiar, familiarize yourself with MetaMask and uh, keeping your seed phrases safe in separate locations. Just like make sure your security is your absolute top priority. So once you get MetaMask down, you can diversify into other wallets, stuff like Trust wallet, Coinbase wallet, because the beauty about this thing is you can really, really <laughs> go big with this. Just go step by step. Okay. So understand MetaMask, understand how DeFi works, follow these main projects. So follow ZK Sync, follow StarkNet, follow Scroll, follow other Optimism, Arbitrum. Arbitrum and Optimism have already done massive airdrops, but there's a huge chance that. But if you look tokenomics, yeah, guys, uh, look tokenomics. If you see 19% of a protocol emission is tokens are for airdrop and only 7% of the 19 have been allocated, mass. <laughs> so don't, don't forget about airdrops that have already happened, okay? So for newbies, 
start this. ZK Sync, follow Twitter. Starkware, follow Twitter. Uh, scroll and uh, Arbitrum Optimism. And a couple other, but these are like top five that first come to mind. Follow them, see what's going on, do some transactions on chain, understand how it all works, and go from there. The more you do this, the better you get. So no point spending too much time on theory. Just go do it. Once you're comfortable with multiple wallets, get multiple wallets, start doing it with multiple wallets. And please, guys, get, get the VPN. <laughs> like VPN is probably the best tool you can have in this industry because it keeps your online activity private. Privacy is something is a basic human right. Why should someone know where I'm browsing from? Or like, it's, it's mine intellectual property. Why should anybody have it? NordVPN is literally like $3 a month. Like, come on, who doesn't have $3 a month? Don't go to one coffee. <laughs> so yeah, get NordVPN, start understanding this, follow accounts, follow people who know what they're doing. As I said, my journey was amazing because I found a YouTube channel that made sense to me. I followed what he was doing. And later, after a few months, I started understanding and started doing things on my own educating others and so on. Yeah, everybody will find someone, something for themselves in this. And some people will find nothing. Great, you lost two hours of your time. Yeah, yep. <laughs> that is that is uh, different than a lot of, it's not like you're losing money when you're looking for airdrops or getting into exactly. airdrops. It's just your time, which is worthless, right? Our time is no value. No, I, uh, uh, <laughs> time is valuable, but it's different than most of the projects we bring on um, the potential is you lose money, but here it's losing time, which for some people, that's going to be a better, better bet. Um, Paul yeah. was wanting to know what VPN you use. So, I mean, you can literally use any of them of the top ones. I use Nord. Nord's been fine, but there might be better ones like Nord VPN. It's perfectly fine. James, you should make a partnership with them. All the YouTubers have some kind of uh, discount for Nord VPN. <laughs> I know. I see. Uh, I see uh, all sorts of YouTubers. I th I think I might be an affiliate, but I do not have like a sponsorship per se. But yeah, NordVPN works great. That's what I use as well. Yep. Cool. Yeah, that's it. And yeah, so to, if uh, we we want to wrap it up, uh, just focus on the important things like quality, quality projects. Oh yeah, and the best way to know what quality projects are is you use CryptoRank.io. So you find, you see uh, the link, it's CryptoRank, you see how much a project has raised in capital. So yeah, this is how you identify good projects, quality projects. And then you, of course, go through other people who are experienced and you're, you're there, yeah. Okay. So if people want more info from you, what's the best way to get in touch with you? If people want to get answers or do you have a Twitter or if people are asking? Mm, yeah, sure. So you can always reach out. Uh, we can do, put in the description of the uh, this video my contact. So uh, you can contact me through James Pelton's community. You can contact me through the community where I'm moderator at uh, Cryptocurrency State Discord, official Discord. I would, again, stress out a million times. This is one of the best places that I've personally found to be a source of where you can really find people who are on the next level. You know, like when I get... A community that I can learn from is there is that place. So of course, yeah, it's a paid group. So only take it if you're serious about it. If you really want to make money, but <laughs> it's hundred dollars for for a year. So I mean, you'll make hundred dollars in like five minutes if you do things right. Okay, so that would be the best places to contact me like that. And you can contact me on Telegram or Discord. Uh, we, we will link it all up in the description of the video. It's not a problem. So yeah, but it's just Boris Pribanitz. And you can find it on literally even Instagram if you want. Okay, okay cool. And we'll we'll work on getting the uh, the Discord in, in my Discord. We'll work on getting that kind of organized. And um, I'd love to have you back on too. Like, if there's a specific airdrop that our community should be really hey really focus on this one, it's going to be coming out like the zk um, or something yeah. like that. Then love to have you back on just to kind of get people prepared for that. So yeah, yeah. Like as I said, I would love for everyone who is willing who is ambitious, who has the drive to really figure this one out. Because as I said, crypto is really can be risky, right? It's not dangerous, but it can be risky. And in 2022, we all lost a lot of money, like me first. And this has been such a breath of fresh air that you can leverage your time and energy into something as profitable as this. 
I would just really wish for everyone to try it, see if it's for them. If not, move on. It's life. <laughs> but yeah, awesome. it's really, really, really good. Awesome. Yeah. Well, hey, I love it. Um, audience, thank you guys. Again, if you're wanting more info, you can get in touch with Boris. I'll update the links in the description to make sure we put everything in there that we talked about here today. Um, and again, in my Discord, my Telegram, we'll be talking more about this. And then, yeah, maybe we'll have Boris back on. But the ZK Sync one looks like it's kind of a one you should definitely keep your eyes open. So, you know, just zksync.io. Just start using yep. it. You know, when you need to bridge use zk sync don't instead of using any swap or whatever are, are we gonna go ahead there are actually a couple amazing bridges that you should definitely use when bridging between chains because those are like a couple dollars in transaction cost but it can potentially qualify you for thousands down the line this is a long game right it's not a pump and dump as we are sometimes used to in crypto. <laughs> so the, you do this over a long period of time. And after a couple of months, after a couple of years, even for me, it was very quickly with Arbitrum and Aptos a couple of months. And I'm sure it's going to be for most people also. But I think the real, real, real long-term effects of this, we will see over the next few years. So it may be only six figures in the next few months. <laughs> only six figures. Only six <laughs> figures, right. <laughs> but it can be millions potentially down the line after a few years of doing these things right. So yeah, like as you can think, Starkware, these kinds of things like base, Coinbase is doing their potentially airdrop, you know, they said no. <laughs> so it has been a fluke. Yeah. <laughs> you le really learn a lot of about a lot of emotional intelligence in this, like managing your emotions with this. Yep. Absolutely. Really well, well Thank you so much. This is super helpful for me. Again, I want to focus more content on uh, on this and things like this. So audience, appreciate you guys very much. Please hit like on the way out. And Boris, I appreciate you so much. You're always reaching out to me. And I know sometimes I'm slow to respond, but I always appreciate it. And uh, thank you so much for bringing this to us, sharing your expertise. And I look forward to hearing more from you. Yeah, great. I'm excited to be here again one day. Sure, we can give an update whenever it feels right. Uh, yeah, I can also leave my email. I suppose it's the most professional one. Yeah, we, we will do that as well. Yeah, yes. let's do it. Yep, yep, absolutely. Well, great. thanks, everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everybody's having a profitable week. And uh, we'll talk to you all later. So thank you guys yeah. so much. Appreciate all of you. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye.